start with California facing one of the driest starts to the spring. Yeah, new data shows the Sierra snowpack is just 38% of average. That's the worst it's been in seven years. KPI X5's Wilson Walker went to the Sierra and explains just watching the survey itself was another alarm bell. All across the Sierra, there is instrumentation that can provide a real-time, accurate assessment of how the snowpack looks. Walking out into a field and actually measuring it is sort of a quaint antique of an idea. It is largely symbolic, and that was never more true than this year. You need no more evidence than standing here on this uh, very dry landscape to, to understand some of the challenges we're facing here in California. One by one, they went to each of the seven traditional survey spots, and luckily, one of them had some snow to measure. We should be sitting on almost five feet of snow, uh, which is basically right where this orange tape is. We should be standing, our feet should be right standing on top of this. For this specific site, 4% of the average snowpack statewide is 38%, and peak snowpack was back in mid January. The first three months of this year were the driest on record, dating back over 100 years. California's drought is intensifying. What we see here today is actually very evocative of, of 2015, um, which was California's last big drought. The reality is, you know, this is the third year of a drought or it's the 20th year of a drought. Water researcher Peter Glick says the bad news is only beginning because the snowpack isn't just smaller than normal. It's competing with a climate that will make what is there even less productive. It's not going to melt and run off the way we hope. Even that little bit of snow, a lot of it's going to sublimate, that is evaporate right off into the atmosphere, and it's never going to be used and useful for us. So it's another indication of how bad the drought is and how bad climate change is starting to hurt us. So just as many of California's reservoirs are starting the year below average, what is effectively the state's largest water reserve is depleted as well. What happens in the Sierras happens in the East Bay. Yes, a lot of the Bay Area drinks Sierra runoff, and it will not be long before these problems start to run downhill. Um, at the local level, we may really see some mandatory watering, uh, water restrictions in place by the summertime. Something else to think about as we head into this summer, there were the problems we had last summer, like turning off the power plant up at Lake Oroville. That cost us energy. That contributed to our energy problems, the brownouts we had last year. These problems add up on top of each other as you add different years of drought on each other and you can see it right here standing in this field big problems coming ahead for California in the summer that stands in front of us we're up here just off highway 50 at Phillips station Wilson Walker KPIX 5